From the late 19th century, assistance was provided to gold miners by the Victorian government through the installation and operation of small gold batteries. These were known as state or government batteries and were installed in areas where there were no private batteries available for public use. During the 20th century, there was a peak of over 30 Victorian state gold batteries in operation. However, only six of them remain for us to see today. What is a stamp battery? A stamp battery is a machine which crushes gold-bearing rock using a pounding action. A battery consists of a set of heavy stamps which are held vertically within a frame. The individual stamps are lifted by cams on a rotating horizontal shaft, then released as the cam rotates out from under them, causing the stamps to fall and crush the rock below. Stamp batteries were widely used during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, before being replaced by more efficient crushing methods. Stamp batteries today Although stamp batteries were once commonplace on the gold fields, most of them were abandoned and dismantled long ago. There are still some around you can check out though. As well as the six state batteries which are featured in this video, there are some other batteries still standing which you can go take a look at. There's a great example over at Victoria Hill in Bendigo, the Deborah Company Historic Area in Bendigo, and another in a battery shed at Terradale. Some disused batteries have been put on display, like the one in Heathcote's Main Street, in a park in Blackwood, at Ballarat's Federation University, and at the Ballarat Gold Mine. There are also lots of abandoned battery sites throughout the bush of the Victorian goldfields where stamp batteries once stood. These sites are typically only identifiable by features such as foundations, loading ramps, or impressions in the ground. In this video, we will take a quick look at Victoria's six surviving state gold batteries, which are located at Rutherglen, Wedderburn, Mount Edgerton, Malden, Creswick, and Bright. The Rutherglen State Gold Battery Built in 1908, this five-head stamp battery at Rutherglen is accompanied by informative displays and interesting video presentations. The battery was built on this site in order to utilize the available surplus water from the adjacent Rutherglen Quartz Mine. The battery was originally powered by steam, but today it has been converted to electricity. The Wedderburn State Gold Battery Known as New Hope, this five-head stamp battery was paid for by the government and opened in 1905 in hopes that it would lead to a revival of mining in the Wedderburn area. This battery is located alongside the entrance to the Hard Hill Tourist Reserve, a fantastic free campground. Stop by the state battery for a look and be sure to head over and check out the reconstructed gold puddling machine, mine at it, and the working eucalyptus stew pot which are located within the reserve. The Mount Edgerton State Gold Battery Head over and take a look at the Mount Edgerton State Gold Battery, established in 1912 on the site of the former Black Horse Mine Battery in Mount Edgerton. Housed within a shed and enclosed by a security fence, this five-head stamp battery is occasionally open to the public for demonstrations. The Molden State Gold Battery Take a walk from Molden's iconic beehive mine to check out the impressive remains of the Molden State Battery. The site now consists of the former State Battery buildings and machinery, the Alliance Shaft and Associated Machinery Foundations, and battery sand heaps. Creswick State Gold Battery the Creswick State Battery stands on Battery Crescent, overlooking a grassy field and the Creswick Creek below. This state battery was built in Creswick because, although there were other privately owned batteries in the town, none were readily available for public use. This stamp battery remains housed within its shed, complemented by a stone monument commemorating the 1851 discovery of gold in Creswick Creek. The Bright State Gold Battery the Bright State Gold Battery is located along Morses Creek Road in Bright. It was built in 1957 to assist local gold prospectors. In the 1950s, the Bright State Battery was giving higher average yields than any other state battery in Victoria. This battery was donated to the Alpine Shire in 1995. If you'd like to see more of these videos on the fascinating history of the Victorian goldfields, let me know by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Goldfield's Guide on YouTube.